Jesus Christ. It there. We brought you this as breaking news last night. Terrifying moments when a rock facing came crashing down at Meads Quarry. Now, the quarry is located at Imes Nature Center and it's now closed until further notice. Today, Six on Your Side reporter Naomi Helmer talked to a man who was there and caught the whole thing on camera. We don't have tsunamis in Tennessee unless it's at Meads Quarry. A seemingly normal Saturday evening took a turn for the worse when the back wall of Meads Quarry broke off sliding into the water. Oh. Oh my God. Looking back, I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt because I kind of noticed the rocks starting to fall for about 10 or 15 minutes. And right when I started to process all that, the whole thing just came down. Matthew Lloyd was taking a video of where he was for a friend when he caught the event on camera. And I was just taking a Snapchat video saying, hey, buddy, this is where we are today. And some rocks started to fall. I flipped the camera around and down the whole thing came. In the video, you can hear him tell the people around him to back up. And as soon as I said that, it, I mean, it hit really fast. The wave did, and that was much scarier than the rocks falling. The rocks falling was honestly kind of a neat thing to experience, but the wave was scary. One woman jumped in to save a friend. But that girl is a hero. She, uh, she said, oh my gosh, my friend's in there. Can you hold my dog? And I instinctively was like, of course, and grabbed the dog, and in she went, and out came two people. And just as quickly as it happened, it was over. You hear all the times people warning about, you know, quarries can be dangerous, and, you know, a lot of places, they're, you're not even allowed to go in them. And uh, I think this kind of just goes to prove a bit of a point in that regard. And he says he doesn't anticipate swimming in the quarry again. Uh, situational awareness is everything, is what I would say. And, you know, just be careful if you're out in nature, because nature doesn't forgive. And despite many people's belongings being destroyed or missing, he says he is glad that no one was seriously injured. In Knoxville, Naomi Homer, six on your side. Naomi, thank you. Now, Knoxville Fire Department responded to the scene shortly after that rock face fell into the water. According to spokesperson Mark Wilbanks, one person was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Again, the Nature Center says the quarry will be closed to assess that damage, along with the adjacent Tharp Trace Trail. They are asking the community to avoid those areas while they figure this all out.